Well, hello everyone, and welcome to the Discriminator Metal Detecting Channel. You join me today in my man cave, where I'm looking at doing a project. I'm sure you've got plenty of equipment, all for detecting, as do I, and you wonder where am I gonna put it? Often it just sits in the back of the car or in the storage room. But ultimately today, what I'm looking at doing is starting the ultimate metal detecting storage and charging area. I'll show you around the cave and my sort of ideas, where I'm gonna put it, and then we'll get started. All right, so first and foremost, this is my man cave. It's all quite tidy today for a change. So we've got, uh, obviously, home entertainment. Discriminator metal detecting channel. What a good choice, check that out. Obviously got the uh, games and such there. Here's some of the equipment that I need to consider for the storage area. Um, charging equipment, filming equipment, that sort of stuff. Um, that's a nightmare to carry that all around. So if I can, I don't know, minimize that, that would be good. Bar area, obviously very important. Um, fairly well stocked at the moment. However, it's had better days. There's a nice fridge around there. Oh, there you go. Time please. And one for the ladies. Yeah, okay. Better on that one, innit? Oh yes. I'm afraid that's a little bit empty there. All of these are um, memories rather than empty bottles, I think, memories. Yeah, a bit of darts, lovely old job. Love a bit of that. And then over here at the back of the cave, this is where I'm gonna be doing the ultimate storage and charging area. Obviously, is a bit of my old <laughs> stuff I used to paint here and some old furniture, which I'll get rid of all of that. So that'll be my first bit is clearing that area. Right, so I've got a couple of coats of white paint on there. Um, I'm hoping that basically that might need one more, maybe another coat, who knows. Um, but I wanna have a white background because I intend to use some LEDs um, and they'll be able to send the colors uh, across the wall and hopefully add some interest there. And potentially um, a big discriminator painted on mural on there, maybe. I'm sort of uh, thinking about that as well. But yeah, that's me done for uh, tonight. I've only had a couple of hours to get started on this. So um, that's our progress so far. We'll see you on part two. <laughs> 